Picture yourself sitting in perfect stillness while an invisible revolution unfolds beneath your skin. Every few seconds, microscopic decisions are being made that will determine whether your stored energy becomes available fuel or remains locked away. Most people never sense this quiet negotiation happening inside them, yet it shapes everything from morning clarity to evening fatigue. There exists a single molecular messenger circulating through your bloodstream right now that holds extraordinary power over your metabolism. This hormone doesn't announce itself with fanfare or dramatic symptoms. Instead, it works in whispers, sending signals that either open the gates to your fat stores or seal them shut completely. The fascinating part is that you influence this hormone every time you eat, every time you skip a meal, and during every quiet hour between. In ways that vary from person to person, what happens when this chemical conductor finally lowers its baton and allows your body's hidden energy systems to awaken? Deep within your abdomen, your pancreas functions like a sophisticated chemical laboratory, monitoring the molecular composition of your blood with extraordinary precision. This organ nestled behind your stomach contains clusters of specialized cells called beta cells that serve as your body's glucose sensors. When food enters your system, these cells detect the rising tide of sugar molecules and respond by releasing insulin into your bloodstream. Think of insulin as a master key, unlocking cellular doors throughout your body to allow glucose entry. But insulin carries a dual responsibility that extends far beyond blood sugar management. This same hormone that shepherds glucose into your cells also acts as a powerful guardian of your fat stores. When insulin levels rise, it sends a clear biochemical message throughout your body, effectively commanding your fat cells to hold onto their contents in your liver to convert excess glucose into triglycerides for storage. Your adipose tissue responds obediently, shutting down the process of lipolysis, the breakdown of stored fat for energy. Meanwhile, your muscles and organs adapt their fuel preferences, choosing the readily available glucose over the locked away fatty acids. This intricate system evolved over millions of years to help humans survive periods of abundance by efficiently storing energy for leaner times ahead. The science behind insulin's fat-burning control mechanism reveals itself through careful observation of human metabolism during different feeding states. Research suggests that insulin acts as a metabolic switch, determining which fuel sources your body can access at any given moment. Studies observing human physiology show that even small increases in insulin levels can rapidly suppress fat oxidation by up to 90% within hours, as documented under specific laboratory and clinical research conditions. This happens because insulin activates specific enzymes within your fat cells that prevent the breakdown of stored triglycerides. Simultaneously, insulin promotes the activity of lipoprotein lipase, an enzyme that encourages fat storage rather than fat burning. Your liver responds to insulin's presence by shifting its focus from producing ketones, those alternative fuel molecules derived from fat, to processing and storing the incoming glucose. This metabolic flexibility served our ancestors well, allowing them to efficiently switch between burning recently consumed food and accessing stored energy reserves. The remarkable precision of this system becomes apparent when you consider that your pancreas can detect blood glucose changes within minutes and adjust insulin production accordingly. Even your brain participates in this metabolic dance, as insulin receptors in your hypothalamus help coordinate hunger signals and energy expenditure based on your body's current fuel availability. The neurobiological dimension of insulin's influence extends far beyond metabolism into the realm of mood, cognition, and emotional well-being. When insulin levels remain elevated, your brain receives biochemical signals that can affect neurotransmitter production and neural pathway activation. Research suggests that chronic insulin elevation may influence dopamine sensitivity, potentially affecting motivation and reward processing centers in your brain. Your nervous system interprets consistently high insulin as a signal that abundant energy is available, which can reduce the production of norepinephrine a neurotransmitter that typically promotes alertness and fat mobilization. This creates a fascinating paradox where you might feel energetically sluggish despite having access to stored fuel reserves. Cortisol, your primary stress hormone, interacts with insulin in complex ways that can either enhance or inhibit fat burning, depending on timing and context. During periods of elevated insulin, cortisol's natural fat mobilizing effects become diminished, 
creating a state where your body prioritizes glucose utilization over fat oxidation. You may notice this as afternoon energy crashes, difficulty concentrating between meals, or a general sense of metabolic heaviness. Conversely, when insulin levels drop significantly, in many individuals, your brain begins producing different neurochemical patterns that can lead to enhanced mental clarity and sustained focus. The interconnection between your hormonal state and emotional experience reveals itself most clearly during transitions between fed and fasted states, when you might feel temporary discomfort on the surface while your internal systems undergo profound recalibration. The transformation timeline of insulin's influence unfolds across distinct phases, each marked by subtle yet significant internal shifts that reshape your metabolic landscape. During the first 24 hours of reduced insulin exposure, your body begins a careful transition from its fed state to its fasted state. Your liver gradually depletes its glycogen stores while simultaneously reducing insulin production in response to the absence of incoming nutrients. This initial phase feels like a gentle metabolic awakening as your cells slowly adapt to utilizing different fuel sources. Your fat cells begin responding to the declining insulin signal by becoming more receptive to hormones like glucagon and epinephrine that promote fat breakdown. Meanwhile, your brain maintains its energy supply through a combination of remaining glucose and the early production of ketones from fat metabolism. These timelines describe observed physiological patterns rather than recommendations, and individual responses can vary widely. The quiet efficiency of this transition often goes unnoticed, masked by the more obvious sensations of hunger or mild fatigue. Uh, as the 72-hour mark approaches, something more profound begins to unfold within your metabolic machinery. Your insulin sensitivity starts improving as your cells become more responsive to smaller amounts of the hormone. This enhanced sensitivity means that when you eventually eat again, your body can manage blood glucose with less insulin production creating a more favorable environment for future fat burning. Your liver increases its production of glucose through gluconeogenesis while simultaneously ramping up ketone synthesis. These ketones begin crossing the blood-brain barrier in meaningful quantities, providing your neurons with an alternative fuel source that many people describe as promoting unusual mental clarity. Your adipose tissue becomes increasingly responsive to lip olytic signals breaking down stored triglycerides into free fatty acids that circulate through your bloodstream. The deeper change begins later as your body's entire hormonal orchestra starts retuning itself to this new metabolic rhythm. The seven-day threshold reveals something your body rarely shows in our constantly fed modern environment. By this point, your insulin levels have reached their lowest sustainable point, as observed in certain metabolic studies creating optimal conditions for accessing stored energy reserves. Your cells have adapted their machinery to efficiently burn fat, and your liver has become proficient at producing the steady stream of ketones that fuel your brain and other vital organs. Human growth hormone levels often increase significantly during this period, helping preserve muscle mass while promoting continued fat oxidation. Your inflammatory markers may begin declining as your immune system benefits from the metabolic reset, the most remarkable aspect of this phase is how your body demonstrates its inherent wisdom, carefully balancing energy production with tissue preservation. Your metabolism doesn't slow dramatically as many people fear. Instead, it becomes more efficient and selective about energy utilization. The 30-day mark represents a complete metabolic recalibration where your body has fully adapted to operating with lower baseline insulin levels. Your cells have increased their mitochondrial efficiency becoming better at extracting energy from fat-derived fuel sources. Your appetite regulation hormones, including leptin and ghrelin, often stabilize at more favorable levels, reducing the intensity of hunger signals and improving satiety after meals. The next phase reveals something your body rarely shows, a renewed sensitivity to insulin that allows for better glucose management when you do consume carbohydrates. Your liver has become more efficient at switching between glucose and ketone production based on your body's immediate needs. This metabolic flexibility represents a return to the natural rhythms that your physiology was designed to handle before the constant availability of food disrupted these ancient patterns. What unfolds next is quieter, but far more important than any dramatic weight loss or energy surge. Your body enters a state of deeper repair where inflammation subsides and cellular cleanup processes intensify. 
The reduction in insulin levels allows for cellular maintenance processes often discussed in scientific research. Your cell's natural recycling system that removes damaged proteins and organelles. Your blood vessels may experience less oxidative stress as your metabolism shifts away from the glucose spikes and insulin surges that characterize frequent eating patterns. Your nervous system often finds a new equilibrium with more stable neurotransmitter production and improved stress resilience. This internal repair moment represents your body's remarkable ability to heal and optimize itself and when given the appropriate biochemical environment. The transformation happens not through force or extreme measures, but through the gentle restoration of a natural metabolic rhythms that have been temporarily disrupted by modern eating patterns. Your adipose tissue itself undergoes a fascinating transformation during extended periods of low insulin. The cells become more sensitive to the signals that promote fat breakdown while becoming less responsive to storage commands. This isn't about shrinking fat cells through deprivation, but rather about restoring their natural responsiveness to the hormonal messages that regulate energy flow throughout your body. Your muscle tissue maintains its mass more effectively as growth hormone and other preservation signals increase in the absence of constantly elevated insulin. The quiet efficiency of this process often surprises people who expect dramatic changes, but instead discover a subtle yet profound shift in how their body manages energy. While cravings feel loud during the initial adjustment period, your organs are working more quietly than they have in years. Your pancreas gets a much-needed rest from constant insulin production, allowing beta cells time to recover and restore their sensitivity. Your liver shifts from its storage-focused mode to its natural dual role of glucose production and fat metabolism. The outside feels uncertain as your brain adapts to new fuel sources, but Internally, order is returning to systems that may have been overwhelmed by the demands of frequent feeding. The emotional and psychological shifts that accompany insulin regulation often prove as significant as the physical changes. Many people discover a new relationship with hunger, recognizing it as a normal and manageable sensation rather than an urgent crisis requiring immediate attention. Mental clarity often improves as blood glucose levels stabilize and ketone production provides steady brain fuel. The anxiety that sometimes accompanies blood sugar fluctuations may diminish as your body becomes more efficient at maintaining stable energy levels between meals. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. Each meal timing decision, every period of eating or not eating, becomes part of an ongoing conversation with your metabolic systems. This isn't about perfection or rigid control, but about understanding the profound influence that insulin timing has on your body's ability to access its stored energy reserves. The wisdom lies not in fighting against your physiology, but in working with the sophisticated systems that evolution has provided for managing energy storage and utilization. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, and you value calm, evidence-informed explanations presented without personalized health guidance, Consider subscribing to Vivo Labs for more calm, science-based explanations. The deeper truth about your relationship with this master hormone extends beyond any single meal or fasting period into the realm of long-term metabolic memory. Your cells possess an extraordinary ability to remember patterns of insulin exposure, adapting their sensitivity and responsiveness based on your historical eating rhythms. This cellular memory isn't conscious or deliberate, yet it shapes every future interaction between your body and the food you consume. When insulin levels remain consistently elevated for months or years, your tissues gradually develop a protective resistance, requiring ever-increasing amounts of the hormone to achieve the same metabolic effects. This adaptation represents your body's attempt to shield itself from constant biochemical stimulation, much like how your ears might protect themselves from prolonged loud noise by becoming less sensitive to sound. The reversal of this process reveals something remarkable about biological resilience. Your muscle cells begin responding to smaller amounts of insulin, becoming more efficient at glucose uptake when the hormone is present. Your liver regains its ability to switch fluidly between storing and releasing energy based on your body's immediate needs. Your brain's insulin receptors, which influence everything from appetite regulation to cognitive function, restore their natural sensitivity to hormonal signals. This restoration doesn't happen overnight, but unfolds gradually as your tissues recognize and adapt to new patterns of hormone exposure. Perhaps the most profound realization about insulin's role in your metabolism 
is how it connects you to the ancient wisdom encoded within your cells. This single hormone carries messages that have been refined across millions of years of human evolution, representing a biological intelligence far older and more sophisticated than conscious thought. Every rise and fall of insulin in your bloodstream echoes patterns that once determined survival during harsh seasons and abundant harvest. Your body still speaks this ancient language fluently, responding to hormonal signals with the same precision that guided your ancestors through periods of feast and famine. Understanding insulin's quiet influence offers a window into the remarkable intelligence that operates within you every moment, making countless decisions that support your life without requiring any conscious effort on your part. Vivalabs, where your body tells its quiet stories, 